Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steve McCrawley coming to you with another video, another VGC 2016 style double battle on the battle spot. This time against Ash. And as you guys can see on his team, he's got the Terrakion. A little different. I haven't seen too many Terrakions on the battle spot. And he, actually on his team, he didn't have a single restricted legendary Pokemon. No Dialga, no Palkia, no Groudon, no Rayquaza. So shout out to him for being creative with his team. He had a pretty high rating as well. So shout out to him for being able to use that team pretty well. So here I go with my, my typical setup with my two restricted Pokemon, my Mega Evolution, the Porygon 2 to set up the Trick Room. So we're going to go ahead and get this battle started. So looking at his team, it was he had some pretty interesting Pokemon. So I... I haven't I don't really have too much experience playing against Pokemon like this. So I started out with my Porygon 2 and my Groudon instead of Porygon 2 with Dialga. Because I was also expecting maybe the Terrakion. And he starts out with the Smeargle and the the Salamence. So we pretty much know what's coming here. We're probably gonna see a a either a fake out or a dark void from the Smeargle. And Salamence is either gonna go for the double edge or the hyper voice. Really, really predictable. So we're gonna, here I was thinking, okay, I can take out that Salamence with an Ice Beam, but I was and I'm but I'm predicting like a fake out or a dark void from the Smeargle. So on my Groudon I go for the Protect to see, because I can't really do much outside of Trick Room. So here I go for the Protect, and sure enough, his Smeargle does go for a fake out on the Groudon, so it was perfect for me. And we see his Salamence goes for the double edge on the Groudon. So that turn was perfect for me, perfectly played. My opponent maybe made a mistake for trying to double up on the Groudon so early, but now I got Trick Room up. So that's fantastic, and we're going to see Moody's going to come into play. He got a defense sharply raised, so my Groudon's at minus one, and he's at plus two defense, so he probably is carrying a Focus Sash anyways, but I'm not going to be able to do too much against it. And we're going to see the Salamence switch out. And I go for the Ice Beam, I couldn't risk him staying in. Could put up that good opportunity. You can see I still do a decent amount of damage. I go for the Fire Punch on the Smeargle, hoping to take it hoping to take it down to its focus sash and maybe burn. But that's what he goes on with. And we're gonna see a dark void here. So luckily my Porygon 2 avoids and Groudon goes to sleep. Which is fine with me, because I'd rather have Porygon 2 awake in this situation. And we're see he's gonna get another defense boost. So his defense he's at plus four defense right now and here he goes for the follow me i went for the ice beam on the smeargle anyways because i didn't want to risk another dark void so i went straight for the ice beam instead of for the hidden power ground on the terrakion and he's at minus one special defense so i'm usually going to take him out so there's that big threat out of the way and groudon stays asleep the terrakion we, we know carries the sacred sword which is going to do a, a lot of damage to me and i see and that that was a lot more than i was hoping it was going to do and we're going to see the Salamance. So here I'm like, oh man. He, but here I predict a Protect from the Salamance. Because obviously I outspeed in, under Trick Room. So I go for the Recover. Because I know after I recover, he, the Sacred Sword can't take me out unless he gets a crit. So instead of Protecting, I just I don't I don't have Protect. So Recover is my best option. Go out on stays asleep. And we're going to see another Sacred Sword. So as long as he doesn't crit here, we're good. Doesn't crit. So here we're in fantastic positioning. My Porygon 2 is easily going to take out that Salamence with the Ice Beam. So now we're up 4-2, which is fantastic because we took out that, Sal that Mega. He took, we took out his Mega and his his support Pokemon. So we're going to see his last... Oh, we're going to see Sacred Source finding and take me out. That was a good trade for him. That was a good trade for me too because I, get get I get a free switch in. That Terrakion, I have my Dialga and my Venusaur in the back. So he sends out his town. I don't know what he's sending out. He's, I choose to send out my Venusaur. And when I see that talent flame, I'm like, oh man, that sucks. That's his last Pokemon. So here, I know. I go for the Protect. My Groudon carries Rock Slide. If I wake up and I hit, I win the game. So we're going to see the Brave Bird, the very predictable Brave Bird. And we're going to see a Rock Slide. Here he's going for flinches. So he's going to hit my, my Groudon. Finally, Groudon wakes up but he flinches so that was unfortunate so now i'm pretty much forced to switch out i'm expecting the, the brave bird i say uh, if i go into dialga he's going to take a lot of he's not going to take too much recoil damage but he's going to take quite a bit of life orb damage so and here he goes for the brave bird which is just what i was expecting but 
what I wasn't expecting, he targets the Groudon. He goes for the double target on the Groudon here, and he gets a crit, which is a very, very important critical hit for him. So that really stinks. And we're going to see a Sacred Sword here. So here I'm like, oh man, goodbye Groudon. But I see he actually survives, and I get the Rock Slide off. So Talonflame's going down. That was clutched by Groudon right there. And we're going to see, we actually get a critical hit on Terrakion and Talonflame right there. The critical hit on Talonflame doesn't really matter. On Terrakion doesn't really matter either. Just a little bit of extra damage. And here he's going to go for another Rock Slide to go for the flinches. And he's going to take out Groudon here, which is fine. As long as Dialga doesn't flinch, the game's over. I just go for an easy Flash Cannon. And we do not get the flinch here. So we're just going to go for the Flash Cannon and take this Terrakion out. So pretty interesting team by my opponent. It's a little tough not having any restricted Pokemon. But I feel like I played pretty well, especially against that Salamence and against the, the Smeargle. So shout out to my opponent, Ash, for having that pretty interesting team. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys any got any, any suggestions, if you want to battle me or whatever, go ahead and let me know down below. And I'll see you guys next time.